Good morning. Um, asked by one of my connections if I could do a bit on um, Martindale. So this is my uh, VI uh, PD138 proving kit. Uh, PD440 um, proving unit in a nice bag. If you've watched my one on the Drummond, you'll notice the bags are identical. There we go. This is the VI3800. Um, this is around 50 quid. Full kit, around 140. Um, I can't quite do the maths for Martindale. Um, the Drummond kit, uh, which I've stuck here, is identical. The Drummond is more expensive yeah, the kits are nigh on the same cost considering this is a cheaper unit. Um, Martindale been around since the 20s. Uh, I've got this old Martindale solenoid, solenoid tester. Um, another Martindale. Wouldn't think they'd done anything in the last 40 years. Uh, this one's probably somewhere around the 80s. Don't even know whether that still works. Again, retractable probe tips. This is a long time before GS38, yet we've got retractable probe tips. Um, why have we lost those? Don't know. Anyway, we haven't lost them on the new Martindale. Uh, got lockable and fully retractable. Stop you piercing yourself, getting it in and out, in and out of your bag. The um, 3800 is almost identical to the three, uh, 3700 um, except we have no fuse in the body of the tester. Uh, this is using a high wattage impedance to reduce the voltage in the leads um, should they get snagged or damaged. Again, uh, I think no, these don't look as though these are replaceable probe tips on these, which is a shame. They always get twisted and um, battered. This is a 2014 model, um, still current. They make the VI uh, 5000 now, which I think goes up to 1000 volts. Um, but I haven't picked up one of those yet. That's on my shopping list. Um, can only see if there's a voltage in one direction but we have clear LED indications from 50 volts to uh, 400 um, maximum voltage on this I think is 50 volts to 600 volts AC and DC there's no batteries um, if I can try and get it to work in my QTEC QCheck uh, Difficult for you to see. Let me move him around a bit. Here we go. Bring him across a bit. Got out a picture. It's not easy to get in there. Let me, uh, it will go. Because we've just seen it blink up. Here we go. So, 200, volt, 200 volts indicated on that. I know this is around 230. The kit comes with the PD440 volt uh, proving unit. Nice and robust. Takes a whole shop load of um, AA batteries. But they do seem to last a fair while. Uh, plenty of space to get these through the cover. Uh, I must have killed the battery on that one a little bit. That's only showing 200 volts. It should be showing more than that. So there you go, 400 volts. Uh, batteries must be going in the other pack. Uh, nice and bright, you would have trouble not seeing those. However, same with the Drummond. If you've got a lead broken, it doesn't indicate anything. These are probably... Um, the most used in 
major FM companies, um, defence estates, uh, large companies providing um, uh, meter changing, DNOs. Um, they are only one of two approved ones that I've seen with DNOs, the other one being the Drummond. Uh, they're nice and solid. They do work and work and work. As with this early one, it's 40 years old and it's still going. Um, as a kit, it's the one that I see most and I like the most um, when the guys get these out of these uh, out of their vans. Hopefully, when they're not looking quite as clean as this, because this one gets cherished. But uh, uh, if they've got these in their vans, um, uh, I can see that somebody spent some time considering what they're going to supply their guys. However, it's a big lump in your tool bag. Um, if it doesn't fit in your veto, then I think you need to get a, a get a bigger veto so you've got room for it. So there you go. Um, that one and the Drummond, um, my two favoured voltage indicators. Uh, you will get in anywhere if you pitch up with these. Um, nobody's going to turn their back and say, sorry mate, that kit's no good for proving dead. Um, these are accepted, as far as I'm aware, everywhere. There you go. Thank you. Uh, make sure you lock off, tag off, prove yourself safe, and use a good quality set of voltage indicators. Thank you very much. Be safe.